It just seems weird. It's like, I'm such a cute little alien, you know, I'm harmless, I'm a little blob of toothpaste, I can shoot bubbles. It's like, oh, you're so cute. And then suddenly it's like, fucking die! Everything die! Why, hello there. My name is Hayek, and welcome back to my Let's Try series. Today we're trying Mint. By now you know, I like to start my videos by reading the short description of the game from the page. So here we go, word for word. This game tells a story about an alien chasing escaped convict to take him back to his own planet. The hero alien took form of a toothpaste to balance his body in Earth's atmosphere. Mint is appointed to bring back Lugal, an escapee from its home planet. And there we go. Let's play! Oh, there's music. The title screen was completely silent. So usual tutorial, move around, all that kind of jazz. Whoa, oh, hi. Operator, welcome to the training room. Okay, cool. And then left bumper to dash. Whoa, cool, all right. Whee! <laughs> Obliterated. <laughs> I failed in the first jump in the game. Where to go, Hayek? What? Do I have to, do I, oh, I probably need to dash in midair. Yeah, that's what you have to do. So this game appealed to me because you get to play the game as like a blob of toothpaste. Also, the visual style of the game is pretty nifty. At least from the screenshots that I saw. Bubble. Virus bomb. There's a drone. Oh, fuck me. I think I'm just going to use this forever. Look at this. Heck yeah. Mint can make a new method of destroying enemy by make two skill collide with each other. For example, shoot a virus bomb and then shoot it. Okay. So... Ooh! Oh, holy shit, I like that! But I've got an awful lot of abilities I don't quite understand. Like that one, and that one. Okay, so the ultimate charge will charge the cannon of my mothership. Okay. Uh, mothership's wrath. Okay. Holy shit. <laughs> Do not piss off the mothership. As I said, uh, I like what I saw from the screenshots, because, you know, kind of like nice pastelic backgrounds. I like the pale colour sometimes, although this is a lot simpler than I thought it would be. Maybe it will hopefully improve a bit. Did I just come from a sink and that's why I've taken a form of toothpaste? I think that's, <laughs> that's the whole reason. Let's bring out this guy. Fuck yeah. This is to blitter everything. Oh, I've gone down. Oh, this is the friendly guy. This is better. This is a much better background. Hi. I read some unstable energy going on in the area. <laughs> cool. Deep on the ground. Whee! Yeah. Some of the sounds are a little bit kind of uh, painful on the ears, but... Whoa. Okay. I don't think that's meant to happen. Okay, sure. But that's fine, you know. That's what volume controls are for. If the sounds are too loud, just turn them down. What's this? This is a checkpoint. Cool, thank you. I'm so glad you told me what checkpoint is. I think I would have worked it out by walking into it and it said checkpoint. But I'm glad you're there, weird, like, holographic slug man. You see, he looks cool. I'm guessing that's what I look like, but I've taken on this form so I don't die in the Earth's atmosphere. But still, wouldn't it be cool if I played as that kind of guy? Whatever. Toothpaste. Whee! Whoa. Hello. That's clearly death. Can you go away? Oh yeah, I've got the other ability, haven't I? I should use that. Sure, let's just kill it. It doesn't appear to do anything apart from just, like, exist. Jellyfish, holy shit. It just seems weird. It's like, I'm such a cute little alien, you know. I'm harmless. I'm a little blob of toothpaste. I can shoot bubbles. It's like, oh, you're so cute. And then suddenly it's like, fucking die! Everything die! <laughs> I like that. So I noticed at the bottom there, there's like a big collection of bars. And I'm not too sure what they all correspond to. It was never really explained that I noticed. I think the one with my name on is my health bar, so I'm pretty low on life. Also, what's that guy up there doing? It's like a really angry red Weetabix or something. I want to go fight him, he looks cool. Ooh, what's that? Oh no, it hurts me apparently, it isn't something to pick up. Oh well, so where am I supposed to go now then? And I just go right. I can. And now, what the fuck? Okay, I can go behind these bushes. Um, but I just transitioned from like the dark cave to suddenly being in like a nice farmyard. Like there's a nice house back there. There's a forest. 
Uh, okay, sure. I mean, I appreciate these green arrows being there to say, you've got to go this way, but I don't have any option at this point, so let's uh, just, just bring out the gun, shall we? <laughs> so satisfying, I love it. Best part of the game, I must say, so far. Oh, shit, angry Wittybix. Whoa, he's gone. But yeah, I just love blasting away the aliens with this fucking blaster gun. <laughs> oh, at least they've got some cool death sound effects. They're like, when they die. Oh. <laughs> like this. Guys, I, I have become a bush. This is my life now. Can you see where Mint is, boys and girls? No, no you can't. Where's Mint? Here I am. Where did he go? Here. <laughs> oh, I don't know what you are, but if this game has taught me anything, is that everything is an enemy, even if it looks like a power-up. So, uh, how about you die? Yep, he was an enemy. Man, some of the designs of these enemies are really cool. Like, I like that, like, flying dragonfly guy. He looks like an actual dragon, just obviously in miniature. Can I fight him? No. I can probably mothership him, though. <laughs> and they're dead. Just erased from existence. And that's a level. Oh, shit. It's a boss. I can tell it's a boss because it says boss on the top of the screen. Okay. When I shoot it, it shoots me. Oh, no, it's just distance. Okay, it's fine. Um, why don't I just mothership it to death? Fuck. No, oh, mothership isn't loaded. Fuck. She has not recharged yet. Am I supposed to kill this guy? Oh, up here. Be safe up here, I guess. Okay, I'm up here, I'm safe, I'm pretty hurt, but I can just heal up. Which will just take a long time to do. So I'll catch you guys in a bit. I mean, whilst I'm up here healing, I just noticed that those cool lighting effects just are coming out of nowhere, like, almost as if they weren't expecting you to get up here, even though all your abilities let you get up here. They are cool looking effects, but I don't like the way they just cut off with like, those right angles there. I mean, this boss looks difficult. I mean, jumping over him hurts you. He charges towards you all the time, so... Unless I can hide in a hole underneath down there or something. Maybe that's the thing I can do. I mean, it's cool that they've given you like all these awesome powers off the bat. That's, that's awesome. And a lot of games when they do that is usually because like in the next level they'll take them away and you've got to spend the rest of the game like slowly earning them back. I'm not too sure if that's the case with this game. And if that's so, I think maybe they should have just given you the abilities like one by one per level. Because there's a lot to handle. Right, we are healed. Let's try and fight the boss again, shall we? Get one button. There we go. Can I hide under here? Oh no, I died. Dead spikes, they kill you. Okay, I think bubbles do a lot more damage. But did, he, did he just get healed by my thing? Hang on. My bubbles do more damage. Does he get healed by this? He does. Oh no, he's got his own one. He's got his own version. That's bullshit. Oh, when I walked into the spikes and died. Fuck my life. Oh shit, he's changed. He's gone to phase two, guys. He has gone to phase two. Repeat, phase two has happened. There we go. I mean, it's cool that they've got enemies in the game, but I'll just skip them, I guess. Oh, what, what the hell is that? Hello? It hurts me, of course. Everything in this game just hurts you. If you're not too sure if it hurts you, it hurts you. I do love the enemy design in this game. It doesn't feel like they introduced them well enough. This game does feel kind of rushed, and they introduce one or two, or even more, like, new enemies in, like, a single level, and it's like, holy shit, new enemies, my god. Whereas it feels like there should be, like, a new enemy on each level, so you get used to these enemies, like, you, you learn about those flying guys with, with like, the puffer fish, and then you learn about the angry Weedabixes, yeah, and then you find out about these guys, they're, like, really cool kind of purple bugs with, like, a blue shield face or whatever, they, they, they look really awesome as well, and I don't know, it, they just randomly add new enemies, apparently, like, in the same level. It's like, oh, holy shit, I guess I'm fighting these now, now. I mean, it, the game looks pretty cool. I mean, visually, in places, it looks pretty awesome. Sometimes, not so good. I think the game and its features and its powers and its enemies could be implemented a little better. Just keep going. I mean, if I can just run past the level and not have to fight enemies, I might as well just do that. Although, they are hurting me quite badly. As I said, I'm not too sure what's going on. They seem to introduce new enemies completely arbitrarily. Like, they didn't have to have this many enemies already, like, in the game. So, how do I get past this? 
Let's just kill this guy, see if that helps. If he dies. There we go. It's the same sound as the other guys, that's fine. So, oh, and that's gone now. So I guess he was like a guardian thing, I had to kill him and it gets rid of the barrier. That's cool. I like that feature. They've added new mechanics, I like that, I approve. Let's just carry on. It's like skipping everything. Because I can. Uh, I guess it is down then. Uh, whoop. Oh, cool, like a subterranean level, I like this. Oh yeah, and the art style of the background in this level, really like it actually. Let's just carry on though with my plan of just skipping everything. What's that? Oh, it, it hurts you, of course it does. I should have uh, listened to my own advice, which is if it looks like a power up, it's probably an enemy. <laughs> oh, boss already. Sure, let me get my gun out. I am quite low on life though. Let me just heal. I'm dead. Holy crap, so now that I've got a moment just to have a look at this enemy, again, another awesome enemy design. I'm loving this boss. Like, he's like a totem pole of like weird gribbliness. He's got um, some demonic white Pac Man heads like following him around as well, and he's got obviously like by his crotch there's like the grey demonic Pac Man head. I'm liking this. Should we try him again? I think I've got infinite lives, so might as well see what happens. And now the boss has gone completely white. That's fine, I'm actually gaining health. That's cool. Let's just keep this up. I think he went white because I was using the auto fire cannon and it just like he got hit so often. That's what happened. Yeah. Did it! Yeah! My mothership can almost be summoned now. Hooray! Cool, wow, that was uh, interesting. So, so far these boss fights have just been spam it with abilities and find some sort of area that you can heal in. Where do I go now? I guess up here. Whee! Oh, holy crap. And back to being in a nice forest. And again, I love those enemies. They look so cool. I just wish that they were more uh, dangerous. I can just skip all these enemies. It's like, it's, he's there and now he's not. He's gone. I don't know, it doesn't feel like there's much rhyme or rhythm to this game. It just feels like they just put loads of platforms and enemies together and I guess I can just heal. I'm healing much faster now. For some reason. I don't know why that is. Before it would take ages, but now I'm almost at full life. Fine, whatever, I'll take it. Maybe by killing a boss I've upgraded the power of my stabby thing. It does look different actually now, now that I look at it. There was nothing on the screen to say that that happened, but it does look different to when it did before, so sure. This bit's a bit of bullshit because you have to land on those platforms. But whatever. It's like damage that you have to take, but whatever. Heal. No. Done. And go. Oh crap, some sort of boss guy already. Sure. Yeah, maybe this guy. I just need to do my usual method of just like finding a nice little area, heal up, and just shoot him. Yeah, I think, I'm, look at this, I'm gaining life just by fighting this guy. Jesus. I'm at max life, and he can't hurt me faster than this thing can heal me. I'm not too sure how I got the health upgrade on this, like, shard. But whatever, it's just OP right now. And he's dead. Was he supposed to be a boss or was he just like a mini boss? Because it felt like a mini boss. Like, that was like no challenge. This is it, Mint. Lugal is at the end of this pond. Take him down, bring him home. This is the end of the game already? Wow, I mean, I guess it makes sense why they threw in so many enemies so quickly and so frequently. This must just be a really short game. There's no reason why you need to make a game really, really long. It's a short one, guys. Or maybe it's like a plot twist and it, this is like still just the first level as I keep referring to it as. And I try and get Lugal and then he'll escape and we go to like a desert world next or something. I guess there's only one way to find out. That is face Lugal. Let's go. I mean we are tiny creatures so you know I guess a long journey would just... Whoa, what the fuck would be really short. It's a boss guys. Uh, health shard and then shoot it. My gun isn't firing right now for some reason. I don't know why. But this boss has a lot of life. Mothership. Oh, holy shit. They did some damage. It's going all pixelated and glitchy, guys. I need to get away for a second and heal. Oh, enemies. Oh, do I not? Oh, no, I had to fight it because there's spikes there. Okay. Holy shit, that duck is really glitched up. Is that Lugal? Is he in the duck or something? Let's just think about this. So, my gun isn't working anymore for some reason. At least when I hold the button, so. But the boss is also getting quite low on life, and I'm actually gaining health now. Oh no, he just healed. That's bullshit, he's got one of them as well. I mean, why do all the enemies have these? That's bull crap. It's like, let's give all the bosses those little health shards. Let's change the colour so that one had the yellow one. 
Oh, crap, he's changed a bit. I'm actually gaining life from this now. Oh, so is he. Well, fine, let's move him away from it then. Jeez, he's getting so much life just from that little shard. Like, as soon as I noticed he had it, I put it down. But by that point, he gained like half his life back, sure. My fingers are getting a little bit uh, tired now from all this. I would use my gun, but it's not working anymore for some reason. So we're going to put a healing thing down in a second, so I can move him. Oh, there you go, healing thing. Let's move him. And I'm dead. Okay, but I think he keeps the same life, though. And his healing things are never going to go away, are they? Don't put another healing thing down. I'm running out of space on the arena. Please don't. His face is... He's puckering. Almost dead. Oh, no, he's healing. This way a bit. No, he's fucking healing. Look at this bullshit. Like, he's almost dead. And then he just puts a healing thing down. If they don't disappear, I'm going to run out of room in this arena. I guess you're supposed to do it really, really quickly. Because otherwise he'll just heal infinitely. Apparently. I mean, it's cool that his health bar, like, stays where it is. And so you can just keep respawning infinitely and kill him that way. But if he's just going to keep putting down these, like, health shards, eventually the arena is going to become jam-packed full of them, and it's going to be impossible, like it probably is now. Well, they didn't finish the skybox, guys. It's just grey up here. The sky just stops. Let me escape into the grey void. Let me escape from this hell. I can't beat this boss. He has so many health shards around, I just can't beat him. He'll just heal infinitely. It looks like they only restore him back up to half-life, and I think I destroyed one, actually. Hmm. Maybe that's the thing I should try and do. I can destroy them, okay. Let's just try and kill him from here then. Either I destroy those health shards or they destroy themselves. Look at that, he's getting low on life. You wait. Health shard any second now? There we go, fucking do it. Okay. Let's try again from like half life. Come on, come on, come on, let's go, 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 go. Can we finally beat this boss and maybe possibly beat the game? If this game is that short. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Almost dead, almost dead. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. My fingers hurt so much. Yes! Holy shit. Oh my god. Lugal. Oh my god, he's a big scary slug man. Holy shit, he's right there. He was hidden inside that rubber ducky. Or that's what the form he took. So I chose toothpaste, he chose rubber ducky. Because I guess when we came to Earth, we crash landed in the bathroom. Sure. Fine. Arrest me again. Or kill me. Uh. Cool, I think we beat the game. Or well, that last boss fight was bullshit. And obviously the game is very short, but I guess that's pretty cool. This is more like a demo, I guess? I don't know. Lugal is already in prisoner's pod. About time we finally can go home. Enter the shuttle first. I'll catch up later. Okay, operator. Whee! Holy shit. I think this is the first time I've ever completed a game whilst doing a Let's Try. Usually I just play like the first like hour or so. Maybe the first few levels. But no, I completed the game. Sure, why not? <laughs> Thanks for playing. Uh, thank you for the game. It was nice. It was short. It was, uh, it was all right. Um, it, it wasn't. It didn't feel like the most professional, but it was. It was cool for like a, a very brief kind of uh, pixelated romp through like an alien world, playing as like a toothpaste blob against a giant rubber ducky. That was cool. But that last fight was bullcrap. The way it kept healing like that, and the arena just became full of like so many of these healing things. Like they didn't disappear when I died and restarted the fight again. But cool little game I'm, I, I'm digging it um i mean obviously you can tell that it's not like polished and what kind of jazz but i mean it's pretty cheap on steam but yeah this has been mint and whilst playing the entire game it feels weird saying that i found quite a few faults here and there i mean one straight off the bat there's no title screen music all in all pretty cool little game a lot of things to improve though if i'm honest but i enjoyed myself except that last fight in fact, all the boss fights just seem like spam all the buttons next to a healing shard and you win. It is nice when indie games make boss fights interesting, like they have like loads of cool mechanics and like things you've got to do to beat the boss. This game it was just spam buttons, which, which is a shame. I've been Hayek, this has been Mint, and you've been amazing as usual, and hopefully I'll see you for my next video. Goodbye.